Good afternoon and my warmest congratulations to the scholarship recipients and your families and teachers who have supported you to get to where you are today. As a former recipient of the NSS PhD scholarship, I stand before you humbled and grateful for the opportunities that have shaped my journey. I firmly believe in the saying, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. My success is not solely attributed to my hard work, but also to the hard work of my community who has supported me. As the first in my family to have graduated from university, funded by the Glaxo EDB Scholarship, I joined the Biomedical Sciences Group at EDB and was fortunate to work under the visionary leadership of Mr. Philip Yeo. Mr. Yeo actively developed talents. He trusted in us to do big tasks despite our youth and instilled in us a can-do mindset. It was through Mr. Yeo's leadership and the A-Star Scholarship that I furthered my PhD education at the University of Cambridge, setting me on the career path to where I am today. Upon returning to A-Star, I joined the Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology, INCB, under the guidance of Professor David Lane, which led me to the pharmaceutical and biotech industry. I joined the Experimental Therapeutic Center, ETC, the first drug discovery unit in A-Star, where I witnessed firsthand the importance of open innovation and collaboration between academia and industry to bridge the translational gap from bench to bedside. That is only possible by bringing insights from the real world back to the lab. At the same time, ASTAR broadened my perspective on the innovation ecosystem as I served as Secretariat for the Innovation and Enterprise Committee and traveled internationally. The ASTAR scholarship offered many opportunities, which later opened doors for me to work at renowned pharma companies such as Eli Lilly and Bayer Pharma. Witnessing the shift of pharmaceutical companies towards partnerships with academic institutions, biotech firms, and contract research organizations, I realized the value of networking and building connections. From the relationships I had built, from my earlier work at EDB and ASTAR, I set up and managed research partnerships at Eli Lilly and at Bayer. At Bayer, I also co-led efforts to create an integrated translational oncology network and initiate a pan-Asia cardiology collaboration. Through partnerships together with my colleagues and collaborators, we witnessed how our work in Asia could make a global impact. Four and a half years ago, Professor Damien O'Connell, a former senior colleague at Bayer, invited me to join the Experimental Drug Development Center, EDDC. When I joined the team, I was pleasantly surprised by how my path is now crossing with many former colleagues and partners from ASTAR, EDB, S-Bio, Eli Lilly, Novartis, and others. Bringing together our past collective experiences, we have been able to drive drug development programs towards outcomes such as licensing and spin-offs. Notable successes that have emerged from our collaborative efforts in Singapore include during COVID, EDDC developed drugs for COVID-19 and other coronaviruses at record speed. An important demonstration that Singapore has advanced in our drug discovery and development capabilities and preparedness for future pandemics. Last year, Beringo Ingelheim, a major pharma company, licensed a panel of cancer-specific antibodies that EDDC has developed through partnerships with ASTAR and the Singapore Gastric Cancer Consortium. BI is now developing the antibodies into targeted cancer therapies to bring into the clinic. A few months ago, our first made in Singapore antibody drug conjugate called EBC129 was dosed in the first patient. The drug and the tests used for patient selection were discovered and developed collaboratively by EDDC, the National Cancer Center Singapore, and ASTAR's BTI and INCB. The vision to build Singapore as the bioplace of Asia and a leading player in drug discovery is what drives me. Because of the ASTAR scholarship and subsequent experiences, I now contribute to this vision as part of the leadership team at EDDC. This is a long-term effort as we partner universities and research institutions to identify and validate novel drug targets, support and link up 
with local biotech companies and drug discovery projects and work with local funds to create spin-offs. And we are together making progress to turn this vision into reality. The true power of science lies in combining the opportunities you are presented together with the support and collaborative efforts of a community. It is only then that we are able to translate science into solutions that benefit society. As you seize the opportunity that, the H, that is the A-Star Scholarship to embark on your educational and research journey, I urge you to build networks and foster scientific collaboration. By embracing diverse perspectives and multidisciplinary approaches, we can enrich our understanding and inspire innovative problem solving. Now that you are a part of the A-Star community, you are the custodian of the collaborative culture we have built. As you reach for the stars, remember to extend a helping hand to others and become a pillar of inspiration for the next generation. Thank you, and may your journey be purposeful, filled with growth, and to bring joy through making a difference. Thank you, everyone. And all the best for your PhD studies.